Hey everybody, we're back. Episode 14. Yep. And uh, we thought we would do this one with another travel, uh, and this time talk about the Bahamas. Uh, we uh, enjoy the Bahamas very much. If you never get to go, if you ever get to go, um, we highly recommend it. Uh, we were lucky enough to spend our honeymoon there 25 years ago. 25 years ago. <laughs> and uh, we stayed at a place called Treasure Key, and it was amazing. One of our gifts um, for our wedding was uh, somebody that David knew his town home. Uh, right. There, so we had beautiful accommodations on a very private beach, beautiful water, like crystal clear. Yeah, a lawyer that I work with um, many years ago had a he and his family had a townhouse in Treasure Key, which is a very remote location on the Greater Abaco Island. Right. So it was very nice. In fact, nice. when we um, flew into there, we flew to Miami first. They got in a tiny plane. Yeah. And then <laughs> when we got to the airport, uh, I was like, is this the is this the airport? Like, what's happening? Yeah. It was literally like grass. <laughs> the best part about that was we, um, we had an old-fashioned video camera. We did. Pre-digital. And um, on the flight from Miami to, uh, to Abaco, we were filming out the window what I didn't realize, you know, it was a it was a propeller plane. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a modern plane, but it had propellers on the wings. And uh, what I didn't realize is when you played the tape back, because of the strobe effect, it slowed down the rotation of the propellers, and it was actually pretty cool. It was actually really cool. So you could see the propellers moving in slow, jet black with yellow tips moving around. <laughs> it was really wild. So we landed safely, um, and then their uh, customs was just a little. Like, you basically walked through just, like, a little, yep. like, not shack, but, I mean, it was, like, right. a l- little tiny... Um, that was 25 years ago. It was a long time probably ago. Probably it's built probably, up a little bit yeah. in the meantime. So, uh, we got to our place okay, but uh, that was an amazing time. And we... I was actually just remembering about this, that even back then, the... Um, the prices of the um, groceries were like huge. I mean, yeah, it was like, it was pretty expensive to shop in the like. like I remember like a dozen store. eggs being like six or eight dollars yeah. or something like that. So uh, again, we did have a remote full, location. We did yeah. have a full kitchen, so we did take advantage of um, buying groceries and eating out. There was a lot of places near um, the um, marina that was amazing. Right. The only bad part was that. Um, this was in March, uh, middle of March, and um, you might be aware. I know what you're gonna say. There's like there's a basketball <laughs> tournament that happens every year in March. And this place had no TV. <laughs> they had no TV, and uh, my alma mater <clears throat> was pretty good in those days, and uh, so was yours. As yeah, a matter exactly. of fact, Iowa State, uh, where Jennifer went, Illinois is where I went, um, and but we left. Um, before the tournament took off. That was really like the first Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the tournament while right. we, we were over there. And um, so we had to like try to walk around and see if we could peer into somebody's yacht in the marina <laughs> to see if they had a TV on. And actually, didn't you end up finding it on a radio? We found, right. Late at night, we found we could pick up a Miami radio station. Right. And we got um, the tail. It turns out that th- that was on, I want to say that was on Friday. And Illinois was playing the very last game of the day and lost. I can't recall offhand that would have been 25 years ago. I, I have a hunch that it was either Tulsa or Florida that beat them. I, do- I, no I just don't remember. <laughs> uh, but So that was a, that put a little crimp in our place. Yeah. But we... Uh... We actually rented a car one day, and we drove to Marsh Harbor, um, which was maybe like 30 minutes away. Was that that far away? I think it was a little longer than that. I yeah. Think it was maybe we had lunch there, there, which was nice, um, and kind of uh, interesting to um, navigate the Bahamas like just by yourself, you know, not taking a cab or Uber thing, but we made it safely there and back, which was nice. Um the one thing that when the, when we got married in 1995 in March, the weather here was unusually warm. It was in the 70s on our wedding day, 
but it still continued to stay warm where <laughs> I wanted it to be colder in Chicago than it was in the Bahamas, but the weather was um, beautiful both places. By the way, I'm just looking this up now because I because <laughs> we want to be precise. Yeah. Illinois lost to Tulsa. That is a very good memory. That's I would right. Never... And, well, if I'm not mistaken, the head coach at Tulsa was um, Bill Self, who later became the head coach at Illinois. And then, f- apropos of his name, left us when he got a better offer. <laughs> and then we would go to Kansas? We went to Kansas. See, a I, whole long I remember some story stuff behind <laughs> about that. sports. If, you, if you're from the Midwest, especially if you're from the Chicago area, the, you have to be a bitter sports fan. Salty about, yeah. <laughs> yes, so I am still bitter about <laughs> Bill Self abandoning the Illini when they were on a ver- the verge of a national title. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a beautiful trip. One thing that we did do, which was completely funny, is um, we grilled out on the beach and we we made mashed potatoes. It was it was St. Patrick's <laughs> was, Day. Oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day. We made back, mashed potatoes out of a box. <laughs> and we had it in and a we pot. It. We did, actually did it in a pot, like on the um, on a fire, you and know, grilled, on the beach. Grilled chicken. And grilled chicken, and then we, we don't. <laughs> We don't recommend this. Not it's, recommended. <laughs> we made um, uh, screwdrivers with, uh, we had, they didn't have orange juice. They had Sunny Delight. So we had vodka and Sunny Delight. However, those two things don't mix yeah. <laughs> at all. So They just, they separate. <laughs> the vodka's all the way on the bottom. So yeah. if you're drinking from a straw, it's like, yeah, not good. <laughs> well, it has it a kick, like, but yeah. it's not, it's really, it's. Uh, John Taffer would yell at us. Yes. Or what? One of we didn't have like the whole. One of his yeah. experts would yell at us for not knowing how to make a proper drink. Yeah. Had we had orange juice, it would have. But like happened. I say, any port in a storm, you know, it was St. Patrick's it Day. It was, and we grilled out on the beach. We sure did. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about our second trip? That was so. That was twenty-five years ago. Yeah, you can go ahead. And then somebody got the brilliant idea to go back. To the Bahamas um, for uh, a birthday. Um, I don't remember exactly how that evolved, <laughs> but I'm not at liberty to say which one of Jennifer's birthdays it happened to be. I'll say it. It's All right. five five zero fifty. So, so for Jennifer's fiftieth uh, birthday, we took another trip, and the funny thing was, we ended up being there on our anniversary. Yeah, because they're close together. But yeah, that was great. That time we went to NASA, which um, or we stayed right outside of NASA. But that was a little bit more uh, wasn't as remote as uh, Treasure Key in uh, in Abaco. Yeah, and we stayed at a really nice resort, uh, which was um, the Grand Bahama uh, Bahamar. Bahamar. Um, and we'll they post had... some pictures. The one thing that was funny though is um, well, two things. When you first walk in, there is a giant casino. So. It was probably a football field length of casinos and people, beautiful, outside, sunny, you know, just absolutely stunning outside. And there's people inside playing poker all day. 24 hours a day. And smoking cigarettes. Smoking because, you know. (laughs) You could smoke inside there. You could smoke inside. It's not America. You can smoke (laughs) in the casinos. Right. Um, uh, Yeah, I'm not really a casino person. So it was kind of yeah, a, a, a different experience. Yeah, we did. I did play the slot machine, and I I won twelve dollars, or I lost eight because I um I had twenty dollars going. Yeah, in. <laughs> you kept saying you won. I know because you came away with twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you started with twenty. <laughs> so that would be no. <laughs> I didn't uh, play ahead, um, but they had. But it was Probably entertaining for a while. Eight or ten restaurants in the hotel. It was connected to another hotel called the SLS Hotel, and you could visit those those amenities as well as ours. They had food trucks on the beach. Uh, they probably had like I don't know four or five different pools. Um, it was really quite lovely. We didn't rent the like the little poolside cabana for several hundred dollars a day. We we skipped I, that. It was even more than I can't it was at least five hundred. That you could rent like a little cabana kind of thing where you could have like the nice like you're on the cast of the Jersey Shore. Yeah, and then um, they come and bring you drinks and stuff like that. But yeah, I want to say it was five hundred dollars a day. Um, we did know going ahead of time because we had read reviews and things like that. What the price and it was it was were. new at the time. It was brand new, yeah. um, and we f- knew going in like how things were going to be. Like for example, in the they had a Starbucks in the lobby. 
And the, when we first, the first day we ended up just getting coffee and muffins, I think that was 30 bucks. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> well, it was something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, cheap. what? <laughs> but the funny thing was that they also had, the, they also had downstairs near, near the oh, Starbucks. Yeah. If you went downstairs, they had a buffet, like a Las Vegas casino. Yeah. Um, which, you know, on balance was probably pretty reasonable for the, for the money. You know, it was a, one of those that you pay a flat amount and you can just go to one station after another. Yeah. But it was kind of funny because it was just kind of like this Las Vegas instant. Inspired. It was giant buffet. Uh, I guess if you have a casino, you have to have a buffet. The problem with the buffet, though, is you're never going to get your money's worth because you just get too full too fast. So it's not. Um, That's true. Yeah, I ate a lot though. I definitely ate as much as I could <laughs> to get. <laughs> we did our we level paid best. For it. Keep it eating. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and like, for example, in the gift shop downstairs in the lobby, they had like um, snacks and stuff like that. A bag of Doritos was like twelve dollars for a bag of Doritos. Not like we were buying beers that, and snacks yeah. <laughs> for the evening ever. Yeah, um, but it was a wonderful time, and they had um, we had gotten a suggestion to go off site of the um, resort. We went to this, uh, which they said the fish fry, which was right. just like um, it's essentially a neighborhood in the yeah. Bahamas, two or three square blocks. That I'll have just like kind of mom and pop kind of restaurants, um, which was nice because you're. A, the prices were better. The food was fantastic. Yeah, the food and was really good. And you could good. just walk around and decide where you wanted. But the And the other thing is our <laughs> cab driver. Yeah. Um, she actually, we, we said we were going to fish fry. Where do you recommend us going to eat? And she told us um, Twin Brothers is um, the, the place to go. And we're like, okay, we'll take your recommendation. So we get there. She gets out of the car with us. She escorts us to the restaurant and then says these these um, people would like to have dinner there um, and can yep. we get a seat for them and everything. And then she gave us her phone number. So, <laughs> so we could we, call her when we were done. Yeah. So we think that, you know, she ha- kind of has a deal with some of the restaurants there. But, I mean, more hey, power to you. Right. It was, like, awesome. And it was a good recommendation. It was so good. Um, it's real. It's not, like, you know, it's not fancy food, but it's very good food. And I think I got ribs. Um, we had... Um, yeah, I know I got ribs. It was, you know, it, they have a lot of obviously seafood on the menu. They have a lot of Bahamian sort of things, and then and then they just have you know they have like spaghetti and and right. ribs and that sort of thing. But just like it's like real food, and it was very good. Um, and I would uh, I would uh, recommend it. And I would go back. We went to downtown uh, Nassau, and then kind of walked around the neighborhood you know and the right. stores and stuff like that we were trying to find what we heard was the queen's staircase which is a big set of staircase um we kind of got lost a little bit um we went a little veered off into like really somebody's neighborhood and then came back around again we ended up finding it and then <laughs> we could do a whole episode on the queen's staircase because actually it's really a it's really a fascinating fascinating story but uh, one thing to be aware of when if you go there by on your own is they have sort of unofficial official tour <laughs> guides who will guide you around and tell you the story. And and I will say, I we, actually we, looked it up afterwards, and the guy, the version that he told us was pretty close to accurate. So we finally found where this the Queen Staircase was, and then we were stopped by this gentleman, and he just started <laughs> laying into like the history of it and everything, and it's kind of like one of those things where you're yeah. trying to like, okay, thanks, you know, walking away. But you know, I we mean, ended up talking to him for like 15 minutes. How the guy um, makes a living? Yeah, and it's all right. Well, I don't care. We gave we, him we gave him 20 bucks or something like yeah. that, and and he told us the story. And it was, I mean, it was cool, I thought. I didn't care how official or unofficial it was. Although I did want to go back and verify it. But that would be, that would be, it's a longer story. It is a longer story. But the, the short version of it is it was a staircase literally carved out of stone by people enslaved by the British who were forced to do it with hand tools. And the reason it's called the Queen's Staircase is because it was such a brutal thing that when Queen Victoria ascended to the throne in Great Britain, it was one of the reasons why she abolished slavery. And so they rededicated it to the queen. Yeah, just an amazing um, trip. We'll do a a part two of this because there's more to say than this video. Um, If you've ever been to the Bahamas, let us know where you've been. We've watched on House Hunters the um, (laughs) Bahamas Life uh, because we just like all the different islands. There's like 700 islands or something in the Bahamas. So And thousands um, of little keys. Yeah, so great place to go. We'll have to do island hunting or whatever. Uh, But we'll see you guys next time.
Bye.